Hey, this is Tyler from the Harringtons. I'm gonna share with you a really simple tip that'll help you on every single film that you produce. Today, we're talking about folder structure. Okay, I know what you might be thinking. Folder structure, really? I know it's not the most glorious topic, but it will affect you on every single film that you produce. As wedding filmmakers, we deal with multiple cameras, multiple audio recorders, all over the course of a 10 hour day. It's important to keep all these files organized and consistent so you can find everything that you need. Let's take a look at the file structure that I use on every single project. So every time I get ready to import files from a project, I do the exact same thing. I make a new folder and I name it the title of whatever project. Today we're just gonna be calling it test. Within this folder, I build five folders. Footage, project, audio, effects and stills, and export. So within the footage folder, obviously, this is where all the footage from the cameras goes. Now I'll break it down even further and I'll make a new folder for each camera. So for the C100, for the 5D, and for the 60, for example. And then within these folders, I obviously put the files from all of the individual cameras. If you're doing a multiple day shoot or something like that, you could break it down into day one and then have the different cameras for those days, etc. But you wanna make sure that whatever you do, you leave all the footage in this folder. The project folder, obviously, is where the actual Premiere project is gonna live. Um, and also any of the extra folders and extra things that Premiere automatically creates will also just stay within this folder. Next is audio. Within audio, I make two separate folders, one for scratch, one for soundtrack. Um, within the sound scratch, I'll make a separate folder for each audio recorder. So I'll make one for the Roland and one for the Tascam. This just helps me to make sure I have everything separated out exactly where I need it. And then within soundtrack, I'll make a temp folder, which is where I put all of my uh, temporary uh, audio tracks that I download from the music bed. And then the final wave will just go here into final. The fourth folder here is effects and stills. Uh, this is where I'll put any sort of After Effects uh, compositions, as well as any other images or logos or anything like that that I might need for the film. Really, this is kind of a catch-all for any extra media that's gonna end up in the video that doesn't fall under audio or footage. And then, of course, export. This is where I store all the different versions of my exports. Um, you can make different folders within this depending on what exactly you need, but... Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Using this folder structure will ensure two things. One, you'll always know exactly where your files are at all times. And two, you have the ability to move your project between hard drives without breaking links or missing files. There's nothing worse than sitting down to work on a project only to realize that you'll have to have a folder full of footage on a different hard drive. So there you go, a look at the folder structure that I use for every project. Hopefully you can implement this into your own workflow and increase your organization as well. I hope you found this tip useful. If you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to see some of our wedding films, check us out at theherrantons.com.